Welcome to another video on how to remove multiple items from an array list. And you say, didn't you already make a video on removing items from an array list? Well, yes, I did. But I would really like to do it a different way because a lot of people prefer doing it this way as opposed to the way that I showed in the prior video. Let's go ahead and set up the scenario again, look at the problems with removing multiple items from an array list. And then what we're going to do is look at a new solution to this array list removal problem. So what I've done in this particular example is I've created a class called ArrayList111 and I've created an ArrayList called List. And we're going to put some values into the ArrayList called List. And those values are going to be 1 through 10. And to show you that the values are in the list, we are going to use a visual down at the bottom, the elements on the top, the index at the bottom. And if we were to run this code right now, just the first part, it would print the list with the numbers 1 through 10 inside. Now that we have the elements inside of the array list, we want to go through each element in the array list. A for loop is going to be perfect to do that. So that for loop is going to visit every element inside the array list. We're going to create a T chart to tell us what's happening inside of the loop as we loop through the elements inside the array list. We're then going to have an if statement. And the scenario is I want to remove all the items in the array list that are between 4 and 7. And that's what that if statement does. It checks whether an element is between 4 and 7. And then I'm going to add my remove method, which is going to take out an element if it is between the range of 4 to 7. Now, if I was to run this program right now, the output would be what you see on the screen, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you can see that those 5 and 7 should not be there. And this is really the problem that I want to address in this video, how to get the remove method to remove multiple items from an array list correctly. Let's get to the code and see why the 5 and 7 are left behind. So I've jumped ahead in the code to the point where we are going to start removing items from the array list. And so we get to the third index, we find that the element 4 should be removed from the array list. So we go into the if statement, remove the 4 from the array list, but it doesn't stop here, and this is what's going to cause the problem. All the elements to the right of 4 are going to shift left and over one index. And when they do that, their index have changed so that the 5 is no longer in the 4 index, but it's in the 3 index. And that's important because that third index has already been checked. And so if we were moving forward like this, we would have to check it again. But there's nothing in our code that's going to check that particular index again. So as we move forward, we're going to see i becomes 4, 4 is less than 9, and then the next value that we check, because i is 4, is the element inside of the fourth index, and that would be the 6. That would mean that the 5 never gets checked, and it still needs to be removed. Given the code that we have right now, it wouldn't remove it. As we see in the output, the output contains 5, and then the same thing would also happen to the 7. Because if we move forward with the code, we would see it would remove i, well i is 4 right now, it would remove the 6. So that's the problem that we're dealing with. When you have multiple items right next to each other that need to be removed from an array list, the remove method is not going to work correctly just by itself because of resizing and elements shifting their index being placed in a different index. Now there is a solution to this moving forward through the array list. And let's show you that fairly quickly. So we refresh the array list. We're going to make one small change to our code, and that is i minus minus underneath the list.remove method inside of the if statement. And what this would do is it would actually revisit the index where the new item was shifted into. So when the phi was shifted into the third index, it would revisit that index. And I've done a whole video on why that works, how it works, and I've done it with visuals. And if we were to run this program right now, we would get the correct results. We would get 1, 2, 3, 8, 9, 10. But in this video, I don't really want to focus on this solution. I want to focus on another possible solution, and that is moving backwards through the array list. So we're going to remove a few things from the code. We're going to remove the for loop 
and we're going to remove the i minus minus. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up the loop to go backwards. So for int i equals list.size minus 1, all that means is I'm going to start at the last index. So the size is 10, and the last index would be 9 i is greater than or equal to 0 because 0 is going to be the last index inside of the array list. It's where the first element is. And then instead of going up through the array list, we're going down through the array list. So we would say i minus minus, decrementing by 1 each time the loop runs. And we've set up our t chart so we can trace exactly what we're going to be doing as the loop runs. So now we are ready to see if this is going to work if we go backwards through the array list. As the code starts, we're going to initialize i as 9, as we just discussed. Then we're going to check if i is greater than 0, which it is, 9. Now I put the size there. It's not being checked against the size. I just have it there to show how big the array list is right now. So it goes ahead and enters the loop, gets the if statement, would be false because 10 is not in the range of 4 to 7, so therefore it would not call the remove method. It would just move on to the i minus minus. i would become 8, and it's going to do this a few times until we get to an item that's actually going to be removed. So let's see how the code is going to get to the point of starting to remove items. All right, so we get to the sixth index because we're moving down the array list. And we find the element 7, and 7 needs to be removed. So we would go in and say list.removeI. That would remove the 7. The items to the right of it would shift left. And now 8 would be in the sixth index. I would then become 5 because it's decremented by 1. We would check if I is greater than 0. It is. Is 6 between 4 and 7? Well, yes, yes, it is. So therefore, the item would be removed. We would then shift the elements over to the left, and then i would be decremented by 1, it would become 4. i is greater than or equal to 0, that's true. We would find the element inside of the fourth index, and that is the element 5. That is definitely in the range of 4 to 7, so therefore we would remove it. The elements inside of the array list would shift over left. i would decrement by 1. 3 is definitely greater than or equal to 0. Then we would get to the third index, which has the element 4 inside. 4 is definitely in the range of 4 to 7. It would also be removed from the array list. The elements in the array list would shift to the left. We would decrement by 1, so i would become 2. 2 is greater than or equal to 0. And so we would move through the rest of the array list unimpeded because there are no more elements inside of this array list to be removed. So let's go ahead and watch what happens. Okay, so we get to the end of the array list. All the items have been removed from the array list. And we can see clearly here that moving backwards through the array list did work. So we really have two options for removing multiple items from the array list. We can either inside of the code say list.remove i minus minus, which does work, and it revisits the index that was just checked. But we can also move backwards through the array list, and we don't have the problem of having to say i minus minus, because when we move backwards, there's no necessity to recheck any of the indexes. So this is a completely valid solution, and a lot of people prefer this method over the other method, and that is moving backwards through an array list to remove multiple items. Let's go ahead and sum up this whole removing multiple items backwards through an array list. First, the method that we're using, remove, removes the element at the specified index. When an element is removed from an array list, the array list resizes. Because of this resizing, elements in the array list shift. Programmers need to be aware of the shift and modify their algorithms to take into account this shift. One way to do that is to decrement i by 1 if you're moving forward through the array list, but that wasn't the thrust of the video. The thrust of the video was you can move backwards through the array list, and this too will take into account that whole resizing thing, and it will correctly remove multiple elements from the array list. 
you always want to write code that is going to remove elements correctly from an array list. And hopefully you've seen that going backwards through an array list is one way to get that done. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, please do click like below. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please do subscribe to the channel. Truly, thanks for watching.